Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Shaq is here. We've got Mario in front. Mario, you were in England. You were at the Chelsea game. How was that experience? Do people like you there? Oh, man, I, 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 man, I'm telling you, I felt like I was at home. So I felt comfortable oh. and happy, and they treated me well. Oh, that's yeah. very nice, Beautiful. isn't it? It's, it's the absolute opposite of Craig going to any of his old clubs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mary, how do you deal with the attention? Because, you know, Frank embraces it. He walks around Paris with his World Cup and his full 98 kit because he loves that sort of attention. <laughs> you go from living in California, where you're absolutely anonymous, to going to somewhere like Stamford Bridge, where obviously people love you and recognize you all the time. Yeah, it's totally different. You know, when you come in London, you just, you just, uh, you know, recognize the airport straight away when you get in. But away from that, look, you're not Michael Jackson, so I don't feel it like that. But I'm just saying, like, okay, you get recognized. And, um, you know, I always stay around the area because it was close to the stadium. And I don't want to stay too far. But no, I don't have no problems with it. I don't think, you know what the key thing is? With, with English fans, I always feel like when they love you, they still remember to respect you. Okay, away from, oh. you know, if they have a little drink, this may be different, but away from that, <laughs> I always feel like, yeah, I don't have, uh, no, you know, I don't have, uh, you know, like I don't have no craziness around it. And living in California, of course, that leaves, that you are no star. If you ever think you're a star in California, you must be lost. <laughs> Uh, Shaka, you're going to England tomorrow. Because yeah? yeah. there's so many be, stars be there. Exciting. Are you going to get recognised, do you feel? Do you um, embrace that? Well, I'm, I'm, You're I'm, full goalkeeper club. That's right, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to come down with full kit. Uh, I, I do get recognised right. on occasion. When, yeah. when, when Unfortunately, when now when you go back, you'll be like, oh, you're the guy that collapsed. That's, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Did you? Did, what happened to you on TV? No, yeah, no, yeah, no, like, yeah no, that's no. me. That yeah, that's me. me. Yeah, thank you yeah, very much. I appreciate right. that. Um, did you go to the Feyenoord game yesterday, Mario? What? I actually lost five 0 club record. Oh man! I'm telling you. Hey, listen. I was embarrassed because wow. I did not go to the game, and I wouldn't look as an ex Ajax player. You cannot go to the Feyenoord stadium. That's just you know, uh, you know. Then I'm telling you, is a zero. You cannot do it because if you go to that town and they recognize you, you're not gonna get the treatment what, what you get in Chelsea. They will ah. attack you and make you run. So oh. no, no Ajax players should ever go Again, to. The Burley you can go to Rotterdam, but don't go near the stadium. Okay, all right. Mary, can you just turn on your egg timers up just for me, just to, just to amuse me? <laughs> that, that. That's, yeah. that's how easily you're amused. Oh, yeah. Every time you see an egg timer, you want to turn it up, don't you? Yeah. That's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yeah, you want to get used to it. I've never felt that urge. Oh. Hello, Frank. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And you know what? I didn't have the chance to, uh, to share my, my thoughts uh, when the Shaka put his list and uh, who's going to win and everything. I, I knew that he was the mayor of Newcastle, but I didn't know he had some shares at Spurs as well, you know, because yeah. uh, supposedly yeah. Spurs going to win against everybody and yeah, uh, uh, the referees of, uh, of, his de of the end of the season. Oh. I had Spurs drawing. Okay. All right, OK. Get it right. Oh, we do, well, there it is again. Yeah, see? People care. There Draw. You are. Spurs, Spurs, Spurs will not lose any of their matches against Arsenal, Liverpool or Manchester City. No, I've got Spurs beating City, yeah. but okay. two draws. Yeah, I said we'll not lose any of their oh, matches. Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, I, yeah. I try not to listen to you. Who does your son support? Spurs. Spurs. Yeah. Family loyalty eking into your analysis, Shaq. It's disappointing. Um, Frank, which quarterfinal are you most looking forward to watching in the Champions League? Oh, definitely uh, Real against Manchester City. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody's uh, agreed that it can be, uh, it, can, it could have been the final, uh, but it is what it is. It's very exciting. And, um, well, I want to see Paris Saint-Germain. I, I had an interview today, uh, and the journalist said, do you think they can win and secure, after the first leg, the, uh, uh, the, 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 um, the qualification? I said, well, do you remember not, not a long time ago when they won 4-0, that everybody say it's, it's in the pocket, and the remontada. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Found the the right words was was the right words. So, so I would be it would be interesting to to watch any games because they all fantastic games. Even Arsenal against Bayern Munich. Everybody but Derek gives Arsenal <laughs> winning. But don't forget that there is history in Bayern, yeah. so everything is possible. And Arsenal will have to be very strong. What do you mean you were giving in to Frank? You were cheating on us. How come? Well, you're talking to other people. I thought you were loyal to us. No, no, well, that was a newspaper. Can I talk to newspaper? It was a French newspaper. Can I do so or not? 
or do I have to talk to Dan Thomas and only uh, Dan little, Thomas? Uh, Shaka, <laughs> Shaka, can you can you kick him under the table just for me, please? Just one. Why do I don't kick him? Nice. Some, I want some loyalty I'll, from my pundits. I'll kick him over the table in a minute. Don't worry, oh, Frank. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> don't don't thank hurt you. yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, hey. thank God Gab's not here. He would say Atletico Madrid, wouldn't he? <laughs> Dortmund. Um, for Frank, Real Madrid have four players, one yellow card away from missing the second leg versus City. Does this, does this change the way a player approaches a game or it doesn't matter? It's a good question. Of course, it's Vinicius Junior, Bellingham, Chuameni and Camavinga. They're the four, aren't they? It must be in the back of your mind somewhere, isn't it, Frank? Yeah, 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 it does hit the back of your mind and, uh, and you, of course, you want to play. You're going to play 100%. When you play, you don't think about that. And especially when you're a defender, if you have to, to, to make a tackle, you're going to do, uh, uh, you're going to do it and, uh, and, and give 100% again. But yes, every time you have um, some spare time, you know, you say, well, be careful, you know, be cautious. You are one yellow card away from getting, getting out of the game for the second time. So, yeah, yeah, especially as a defender, you would think about it, forget sometimes when you play, but it comes back times to times, yeah. What about you, Mario? Yeah, no, I totally, uh, I agree with, with, with Frank. But the only thing is like, sometimes there will be moments also in the game when you don't think about it, you know? Like, sometimes you, you have to call yourself, right? And go like, oh, hey, I have to be uh, careful. But there are also moments where you, you know, like you, you have it in the back of your mind and you think like, I don't want to miss the second leg. But then sometimes the card belongs on for one more game and then after that you get in trouble. So you just have to play the game and what you hope, can we just win? That's what you want. Shaka, this is harsh. Any blame on Kelleher for United's first goal yesterday? No. No. Oh. No. No, I think I think that's fair. I was short. No, I mean. <laughs> no, you could just say no. Yeah. No. I'm... Next question. Next question. I don't know Dan. why that was even picked. I don't, I don't know why that was even picked, Dan. Frank, after yesterday's game, Pochettino <laughs> said that this Chelsea team is young and they must be given time to grow. But hasn't this message become stale as the players keep on making the same mistakes over and over again? Surely Chelsea's problems is not just inexperience. Yeah, but it's mainly inexperience. That's what you have to put at first. That's for sure. That's for sure because suddenly they, they, they can play very well. And they did against Sheffield for half, uh, for half an hour, nothing. The game was good. They were, they were leading the game and suddenly they lose it. And they lose it only for one thing is because you don't have leaders, you don't have anybody to rely on. And yes, I agree with Pochettino. This team is too young. Yeah, it's full of talents, but you need experience. And that makes the difference because at some point when it, you, you feel that the, the game is shifting in the wrong way, you have like two, three players say, whoa, 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 let's stick together. Let's work together. And it's what it is. Yeah. It took only three minutes to Sheffield to shift the game. They were nowhere near it. In three minutes, we saw them coming back, score a goal. That's only because you don't have experience. And I agree with Pochettino in that matter. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario, obviously you saw them in person in that game against Manchester United, which in the end they came back and won. Who are the leaders on the pitch, you notice? Who's doing the talking? Who is trying to organise this side? Yeah, I mean, look, you, you have, I, I think when the game kicked off, the biggest, the biggest uh, thing for, uh, for Chelsea was when they started was the energy of Gallagher. You know, the energy of Gallagher where they used the first 20, 25 minutes, but then, you know, the energy drip drops because you cannot keep running for that long. And that was the surprise in the middle of the park where they created. But then afterwards, the other said, so he, he leads it then. But then after that, they, they drop off because they're trying to hold the energy. But the scary part for Chelsea, I always say that, is you got to finish the game off. You cannot wait and let's say, OK, you're 2-0 up, but then you also got to make sure you go for three. OK, who does that? When you look at Liverpool, if they 2-0 up, they go for three. If you look at City, they go for three. If you look at Chelsea, they go for one. If they one nil up, look what they did against Sheffield. They one nil up. They go. They, they go back. <laughs> they self has scored. Sometimes if you create it, that's what the problem is. When you score a goal early, people always celebrate. We're always very happy. But it's not always a good thing, guys, because mm. too early can get you way in trouble. Because too early, it doesn't hurt the opponent that much. Because they go like, oh, we have enough time to get back into this game. But when you score them, you know, like the best time to score a goal, I always said it is right before halftime. That is the blow to the team that you play against. But if you give them the blow after five minutes or whatever it is, what Silva did, 
it's too early. And that's why the leaders uh, in that team, I think, has to be people that um, I didn't see that many. And I'm not going to lie about it. I didn't see that many. I think they, they work hard. Mm. But I did not see, you know, like sometimes you have a guy that the leader I always call this, this is the leader for me. He does not care who he talks to. He does not care who he screams to. And he will put you in your place and it doesn't matter who you are. That for me is a real leader. And he always makes sure himself, he plays the, the you know, like always plays good enough to get the team, to push the team forward. But if you have a leader, you understand that, you know, picks his side, like, well, maybe I speak to him, maybe I don't speak to him. It's not good enough. It's like, for me, for example, Palmer is the biggest star in that team. So if you ask me that, that question that you ask me, then, then I say Palmer is the one that leads. But do, is he a leader for, for Chelsea? I think he's a leader going forward and try to create chances and score goals. But I don't think he's the one that's going to dictate the tempo they have to play with. Mario, who was the, one of the greatest leaders you played with? The leaders I played with, I mean, when I was with Frank playing, you know, Desai for me was incredible, you know, like, right. like he just didn't play, like, when he talked to you, if he, if he grabbed you, you know, like, look, as much as he was also funny, yeah, because, you know, your leader has to be funny too, he loves to play and laugh and make jokes, but when it came to finals, sometimes I looked at him, I go like, this guy could switch the bottom really quickly, he, as much as he could joke, but when we played the final, he was like, Nothing, nothing could change this man's his mind in the sense of, we're going to win this. I played the FA Cup final with him. Oh, my God. I, I swear to God, like, I looked at him sometimes and I was like, he was in a zone. He's in a zone and he does not care who is around him because he will tell you, you either step up or step out. That's all he's going to tell you. Uh, no Frank mentioned in that question. Uh, Shaka, Seb said he is going no. to sign you up <laughs> for the 7 versus 7 oh TST tournament. Now, you know about this tournament? No. Uh, oh, wait, I've got... Yeah, they wouldn't have seen this. Should James Madison have been sent off for punching Yates? Oh, producer just sent me that. Oh, OK. Yes. Um, yes. OK, yes. shall I get a Mario while you watch it? Yeah. yeah OK, on. all right, Mario. Yeah, should James, uh, James Madison I get? It. Yeah, I think he should be sent off because he there points. The, yeah, I watched it too. He points. You know what the thing is? He, 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 you can see also the way he looked at it because he didn't think he was gonna get caught. But the way the ref looked, the way he looked at the ref, you know, sometimes look, guys, we all know that. You know when you're at home and you do something bad and you look at your mom and dad and you kind of like you see <laughs> her talking to you and you look away. That's Madison. He knew he was, he did something wrong and he looked like, oh. this one, when someone does this move, you yeah. know he did that. He <laughs> should have been uh, getting uh, the red card. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Frank, you agree, red card? Yeah, I agree. You know, we laugh at it, but I want to talk to the people in the VAR who saw that and tell us that it's not a red card. How come? How come? The guy punched a guy in his stomach. Oh, Clearly, and I love Madison, and he was it was funny when he when when he knew what he was doing and uh, avoiding the, the 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 look of the ref <laughs> and uh, even the opponent. But but that, that that's true. It's a straight red card because you cannot punch somebody in his stomach. I mean, it's football. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, Shaka, you just you just watched it. I just I just watched it. Absolutely, that's a red card. A red card. Yes. That's a short jab right in the. <laughs> Whatever you call here. It's like the uh, uh, there, you go. The <laughs> there we go. I'm sorry, producer P, for doubting you. How could I? Uh, Shaka, Seb said he's going to sign you up for the 7 versus 7 TST tournament. Now, this is the tournament uh, that's going to be happening in the summer. It's grown in reputation. You have a lot of former players playing it. Kunakuero has announced he's playing it. Our very own Kieran Gibbs is playing within it. And the reason is it's $1,000 for the winner. So it's a big purse. Oh, per person? Yeah. A million dollars. Oh, you have to shoot. Oh, a million dollars. A million dollars. Oh, a million dollars. I'm going to Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all right. Yeah. Hey, he said a thousand well, because he's so. going to keep the money in his pocket and give you a thousand. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. That's my team. Yeah. My money, if I win it. Uh, would I'll you put together you quite a You're happy One to do One million that? prize? Well, I have a little uh, precursor be before the summer. <laughs> What's happening before the summer? I have to, I'm, I'm playing a Legends game in Grenada. Are you, Shaq? 
Yes. Hey, that's not a bad game. Ooh. The Football Association Ooh. are celebrating their 100th anniversary. Right. So are they having a Legends game? I'm invited. Wow. So according to how that goes, Dan. Uh, there will be a camera at this game, obviously. Hopefully not. I hope I'm there hoping will that be. cameras and phones are banned. Yes. Yes, you have to leave it outside the stadium. Yeah. Nobody's allowed in with a phone. Good God, it's not going to be pretty. I think it'd be, it'd be great. Most if I come through that unscathed. Yeah. Frank, we know you don't play. Mario, you still play at pickup games, yeah? Yeah, sometimes I play. I play sometimes, yeah, with some of my buddies. Yeah, definitely. I love it. I enjoy Frank it. Frank doesn't play. You know, Frank, Frank like, you don't play? You know, Frank's busy. I, Keep safe it. Yes, safe I play. It. I play June 8. But well, don't, don't listen to him. He's only he's against me today. You know. Uh, yes, I play football. I play June 8 uh, for the uh, for, for, for the D Day. Yeah, kick him, kick him. For the D Day, I play the game uh, with the former players of France against Caen in uh, in Caen City. And um, ah. yeah, we'll have a big game for the 80 years of the D Day. Yeah, but you're doing that just for like Mario plays yeah. just for fun, don't you, Mario? Not for the uh, Prestige. Yes. What? Yes, there you are, you see. Yeah, I'll play the fun, you know, with the guys in, in LA, you know, the nice <laughs> weather. Nice yeah. But Frank, if Frank is in LA, Frank can come and play with me. It will be a pleasure to have Frank on my team. You know, because I have to say that when you said, you know, like um, when I came to Chelsea, you know what the thing was with Frank? Frank had one thing, one quality that I liked a lot about him. When it comes to him passing the ball, then you have to know there is a guy that could deliver the ball right wherever you wanted it to be. That was Frank LaBeouf. When yeah. he kicks, it's on, we call it on the money. This is the beautiful. man that can put the ball on the money. He uh, put yeah, it I, on the yeah. money anywhere, left side, right side. I have to call yeah. that for you. And I, no. hey, honestly, I was I a young you, boy. Dear. I was I love you. 21, 22. I looked at him and I go like, okay, this is the guy. I should be watching him closer because I have to learn from him. Until today, I cannot kick like Frank. I still can't do it because he was too good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's Talking about Frank's skills on the pitch, horrible person off it. That's what I heard in oh, that story. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Frank, you like to go kick him yourself. Uh, Mario, do you ever play with you again? You know what? Sometimes he's better. <laughs> Si oh, silence, silence is golden. <laughs> yes. Silence is golden sometimes. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mario, do you ever okay. play with Jurgen Klinsmann? Because he plays, then. doesn't he, pick up games? No, I've never played with him. No, I've never yeah. played with him. Uh, do you know Stevie's best friend lives in LA and he played with Jurgen a couple of weeks ago? Really? Yeah, for a pick. Isn't that random? Very random. <laughs> Amazing that Stevie's friends with someone who knows where LA is. <laughs> okay. Sorry, why you moved to LA? <laughs> yeah, it's probably. <laughs> in a way. Uh -huh. um, right, final questions. Did you watch the solar eclipse? Uh, obviously, we're in North America. It was brilliant. I, I, I didn't. So I didn't have any glasses. Right. So well, I have regular sunglasses. Oh, no, you don't. don't and my, sun, my sunroof is tinted. So I, I was hoping that. So what you were driving like? No, I pulled over. I pulled right. into a silver station. Ah. Uh -huh. And um, so I was hoping that it was, but it wasn't. Not, my sunroof was not tinted enough, so, so I didn't get a good view. Ah. Uh -huh. the, the, the biggest question, guys, is: Do you have any news about Stevie? Is he blind now or no? <laughs> 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 oh, oh man. Uh, uh, hey Frank, tell everybody what you said to Stevie when we were off air last uh -huh. night. Well, at the end of the, uh, the explanation, we tried to explain to him how the eclipse was working, that it's not dark and suddenly the sun comes out, you know, like suddenly crazy. Uh, so I said, to, I said to Stevie, he said, you know what, Stevie, sometimes open a book. <laughs> and we say goodbye. Yeah. Don't even have to read it. That's it. That's fine. Frank, I hey, you're bad. Down. You're so I'm... bad. Frank, I texted Dan yesterday and said that is the funniest segment I have ever heard in my life. That whole eclipse conversation. <laughs> it's good. It was unreal. The funniest, oh stupidest, was... I think. <laughs> it certainly unreal. ticked a lot of foxes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, is so good. Uh, that is it. Uh, oh, is that it? That's it. That Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Well, because I think I found I need to bookend this segment with a serious ending. What? Have, have you, look, you're happy because you're off for a week now. I'm business, Dan. Have, have a lovely time in England. I will, Dan. With your... I will. Business meetings. <laughs> uh, thanks to Mario, thanks to Frank. Yeah. Uh, we'll, of course, be back tomorrow to reflect on those huge Champions League matches. Jurgen uh, will be with us, focusing oh. on Bayern against Arsenal. Craig here as well, Manchester City, Real Madrid. It's be a great day of soccer.